What Eats What in a Rainforest Food Chain Written by Lisa J. Amstus and illustrated by Annie Wertham From a chirping katydid to a hungry jaguar all living things in a rainforest are part of a food chain. Each living thing in a food chain eats the one before it. Almost all food chains rely on the sun. In the rainforest, the sun shines down on the silky leaves of a cacao tree. This is called a producer. The cacao tree is a producer, so producers use sunlight, water, nutrients, and air to make their own food. A katydid nibbles the cacao leaf. This insect is hard to spot. Can you see it? Its green wings look like a leaf. Now the katydid is a herbivore. So herbivores only eat plants. A hungry tree frog sees the katydid move. Zap! He shoots out his long sticky tongue. What a tasty snack for a tree frog. The tree frog is a carnivore. And carnivore only eats other animals. The tree frog blends in with the leaves. But a blue crown moth moth eyes it. Shoo! The bird snatches the frog. Now the bird is an omnivore. So omnivore will eat both plants and animals. And then, an emerald tree boar hangs from a branch. When the moth moth flies by, the snake makes its move to eat the bird. Now, is the snake a herbivore or a carnivore? It is a carnivore. The snake eats other animals. Hmm. A jaguar is hungry. It stalks the snake, climbs the tree, and pounces to eat the snake. Now the jaguar is a carnivore. It only eats other animals. Now the jaguar is a powerful hunter but it doesn't live forever. One day the jaguar has a deadly fall from a tree. And so it dies. It passes away. A king vulture finds the cat's body and feeds. Now king vultures are called scavengers. They eat only dead plants or animals. Insects Bacteria and fungi feed on what's left on the jaguar's body. They are called decomposers. Let's say that again. Decomposers. Decomposers break down dead plants and animals. And their waste is used as nutrients by plants. So the king vulture will eat the jaguar first. And when the king vulture has already finished eating, 
Then the insects and the bacteria and the fungi will eat everything that's left. Nutrients from the jaguar's body will return to the soil. And in spring, a new cacao tree will grow in this soil. And the food chain will continue. The end.